hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel uh, in this video i am going to show you how to install applications through microsoft intune uh, there are uh, different ways you can install the applications or any software uh, through the intune different different methods are there but i will tell you each method in a s each video separately so that you have a clear understanding how to install and how to make that package easiest way if you have a msi a package to install then it's very easy you can just upload and and uh, you don't have to do any kind of uh, settings or any script and all you just upload the msi file and it deploys automatically so how we can install the any application so basically you need to uh, go to the microsoft intune portal that is endpoint.microsoft.com or intune.microsoft.com uh, any portal uh, you can use or you can open this portal that you see on my screen and then you when you go to the add applications and uh, there is you can see there are a lot of applications are there already predefined but there are sometimes there is a line of business application or there is a custom applications or any developer applications that uh, you might need to install through the intune so how are you going to perform that uh, thing okay so i'm as a part of this video particularly i'm i will go from the easy uh, that is a line of business application and you can see these are the format for the windows msi apex and these are these are the uh, installation set of files are supported in this particular line of business app module so we are going to try with the msi right now so select and now i'm going to tell you in this video how to install google chrome uh, it is not a normal google chrome setup file that you download and install so we are going to install google enterprise so what is the difference basically in this is the same google chrome uh, end user will see but the the benefit of this is when you install you can uh, make a customize uh, Google Chrome like you have a full authority on the Google Chrome browser that you can which uh, add-on you want to install what uh, background you want to set what settings can end user can manage these kind of things you can manage uh, from the Google Chrome enterprise so in this video I'm going to show you that okay this is a stable version msi 64 bit you can directly you can search uh, google chrome enterprise and you will see the first link will open up and that from that link you need just uh, need to log in not not login is not required you just need to download the stable version msi package and 64 bit and download and accept the download and this file will open <coughs> sorry open that file is open already um, I'll just choose that file okay so we have selected uh, Google Chrome MSI file so Google Chrome I'll just copy this Google Chrome here and this is uh, ignore the app version that is okay and then you can also upload the logo here if you have a downloaded already a Google Chrome uh, I will select that Google Chrome right now okay and next and you see there is no options you are getting for uh, uh, installation command or uh, any uh, any supporting file in anything so you basically what you have what we have done is upload the MSI file and you straight away you are coming on this page page where you want to install this uh, so I want this Google Chrome to install on all devices then I will select this if I want to select any particular user particular uh, group then I will target this otherwise I can I'll simply I will install this for the all users all devices basically and next and next and then you will see that it's uh, creating but when you click here it is uploading so it's basically 10 percent and it will uh, upload uh, the all the supporting file uh, sorry it will upload the msi file and uh, then when you enroll any new system this google chrome uh, applications will browser will install automatically on that device so this is a very simple and uh, next video i will show you 
another uh, method to install any application that is through the I'll just uh, go here all apps and next video I am going to show you how to install or how to create a win 32 app so basically this is a very good method where you almost target all the exe and uh, you can compile all your set of files in one powershell script or any batch file and then you can able to perform that installation activity on the end user machine so that will i will that i will show you in the next video thanks for watching bye bye